This is the Keurig K Supreme coffee machine. This is a relatively affordable coffee maker that can fit in almost any kitchen design and consistently brew a flavorful, aromatic cup of coffee. Although I thought this was an excellent model considering the price and performance, I noticed some key things that might make this the perfect option for some users and less than ideal for others. So it's best to learn about it before spending your hard earned money. It has a reasonably compact design that measures 14.84 by 10.12 by 14.41 inches and only weighs around a pound, so it won't take up much counter space and you can easily store it when it's not in use. Despite the relatively lightweight design, it has a sturdy plastic casing that's built to last, so you should be able to withstand some accidental bumps. You should know that it has a sleek minimalistic design and it's available in multiple color variants to match your kitchen's decor, but it lacks convenient cord storage on the back like some of the other Keurig offerings. Overall, it has a nice design that won't look out of place in most kitchen layouts, but aesthetics don't matter if it's not functional or capable of consistently brewing a full-bodied cup of coffee. Luckily, it's an easy-to-use coffee maker with an impressive performance, and it offers all of the essential features needed for a high-quality brew. It comes with a detachable 66-ounce water reservoir for easier cleaning and refilling, and you can place the container on the left-hand side or around the back for greater placement flexibility and convenience. It features convenient LED lights on the top that alert you when the reservoir needs to be refilled, and they alert you to descale the machine after 250 brews to remove leftover residue and to maintain optimal brewing performance. I also like that it's compatible with K-Cup pods for over 75 different brands and my K-Cup universal reusable coffee filters, so you can brew your own ground coffee without generating as much additional waste. I found the controls to be interesting when compared to other Keurig models, like the more expensive K-Supreme Plus. On the top, you get a range of intuitive controls to customize the brew to your liking but it does lack an in-depth adjustable temperature settings, programmable favorites, or the ability to brew specialty drinks, and features less potential brewing sizes than some of the higher-end Plus models. However, it allows you to make 6, 8, 10, or 12-ounce cups of coffee, which should provide more than enough versatility for at-home requirements. It's also important to know that you get two different strength settings depending on your preference, which includes a strong button that brews longer to deliver a more consistent extraction for a bolder taste or an over ice function that can produce refreshing colder drinks without sacrificing flavor. It can also accommodate travel mugs up to seven inches tall for when you need to take your coffee to go. And even more, it utilizes some impressive technology to deliver more consistent results but we'll talk about that in a bit. I thought the back-to-back -back brewing function was an interesting feature, which makes it an ideal choice for multi-person households, so you can immediately brew a second cup of coffee without needing to wait for the water to reheat. As we briefly touched on before, it features an intelligent design that's meant to deliver more consistent results. It utilizes Keurig's multi-stream technology like the K-Supreme Plus, which uses five needles to puncture and create multiple streams of water for more even saturation of coffee grounds and to extract more flavor and aroma than the single needle models. Overall, the brewing performance and speeds are solid, and it only takes around one minute to finish making your first cup of coffee, although it is relatively prone to splattering when making larger cups. Like most other Keurig models in this range, it features their quiet brew technology that ensures it doesn't generate an excessive amount of noise while in use. All things considered, the Keurig K Supreme Coffee Maker is a solid option that can consistently brew a decent cup of coffee, but is it worth your hard earned money? It offers a sleek and minimalistic design that won't take up too much counter space with two different brewing strengths for greater versatility, multiple portion size options, and the unique technology to deliver consistent flavor extraction. So it's not hard to see why this is such a popular model, but is it going to be the perfect coffee maker for all users? Well, not quite. The higher-end Keurig K-Supreme Plus offers a broader range of programmable settings and more brew sizes, while the K-Elite has a much larger water reservoir and a built-in noise reduction technology. Still, the K-Supreme Coffee Maker features an intuitive button-based controls that can still produce a satisfying, flavorful cup of coffee for the current price of around $160. Overall, I think this is an excellent coffee maker and worth the purchase if you don't need all the bells and whistles or the in-depth customizable controls. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. For links to updated pricing on all of the items mentioned, be sure to check out the description. And if you guys learned something or you found this video helpful, be sure to give the video a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like short informative tech videos. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.